Hey guys, it's Kath. I'm back with another marker portrait video. For this portrait, I'm using mostly yellows, oranges, and beiges with lilacs and cool blues for the cool shadows. So I picked this portrait because she just caught my eye while I was scrolling through Pinterest. You know, everything's just colorful. Her expression was just perfect because I've been trying to get into more expressive faces lately because it makes the portraits more alive. Also, she didn't have eyebrows, so that was a challenge I kind of wanted to try out. I left the link of the photo in the description. This was a bit tricky to do since there was a hand in there and it took me a long time to sketch. Um, and what I usually do is when I start sketching, even though the marker usually seals the pencil in, when you go through it a few initial passes, uh, I always go in with a kneaded eraser because I use a 4B sometimes for the outline of the face and it just smudges all over the paper. And this video is just me blabbering about what I can think of because I don't know what to talk about. This is just so I can also practice talking so I can do better voiceovers in the future. I'm trying to get more comfortable doing that. But I always start off with the face just to get it out of the way and constantly build layers of add vibrancy, try to make it look more realistic but not too realistic. And I don't usually do line art. I mean, I would want to, but I still haven't figured out how to execute that properly. It just ends up being a mess when I do it over the colors. Like, shoot. <laughs> Also, another tip, if your marker is cheap on the paper, sometimes it's just because you have to add a little bit more ink. And this is the point where I knew I messed up. <laughs> I used a pink that was way off and it just blew everything out. <laughs> also, another tip, if your marker is cheap on the paper, sometimes it's just because you have to add a little bit more ink over that initial pass. Always let the ink dry first to avoid it bleeding into each other, sort of like watercolors. So, um, I may do more in-depth marker videos in the future when I finally get some proper markers, I guess. Um, or if you guys have any requests to do more. But the next few videos will be more on paints, beginner tips, all that jazz. Or if you guys have any requests, just leave it down below. And be sure to check out my Instagram. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you guys like the videos and the content that I'm putting out. And enjoy the rest of the video.